All right, guys, we got it down. We're getting it cleaned up. I'm gonna take this off, take all that stuff off right there, and see what, see if we can figure out what's wrong with it. So let's uh, let's get it broke down. Okay, well, there's a bunch of screws back here, so I'm gonna attempt to uh, get them out. And that little bag right there, I'm gonna put them in so they don't get lost. More importantly than that, when we go to put it back together, we don't want to have a lot of screws left over that we don't know where they went to. So, <laughs> so it's going to take a little while, guys, to get these out. So, let me get that cover off. Okay, I got the back off. As you can see, there's some dust here. I need to clean that up. Let me get this cleaned up here. <laughs> Alright, well I did some looking around guys and I saw someone selling one for selling one for thirty dollars but uh, you know they, they didn't know if it worked or not so that that tells me for thirty dollars you it what works is they get thirty dollars and you you lose thirty bucks so anyway I ran across this right here and it says it's a new and uh, they have uh, free returns so that uh, usually is a pretty good indicator that it's going to work and I think for $52 I think we can take a chance on trying to um, try and make this TV work again so today's video is going to be on how to replace a circuit board in your TV and I'm going to be your host the homestead prepper okay guys some of y'all may have seen the video where I took this TV down redneck style I'll leave a link to that uh, I watched a video on how a guy troubleshoot uh, his TV at a 55 inch Vizio just like this one well similar to this one and he uh, diagnosed the circuit board was bad because he had a known so a no sound problem now I've got power to the uh, TV and the picture works and everything and uh, let's let's turn it on I'll just hit the little button over here and you can hear it click and you can see those lights come on so right here is the sound where it comes out of and guys I want to say that this video is for information purposes only if you're not familiar with um, you know high voltage and you know stuff that's dangerous uh, uh, like I said this video is just for information purposes okay so I just want to share that out there and always take the safest route whenever you do anything alright we got my voltmeter here and I've got it set to DC now I'll leave a link to the guys video and he troubleshoots all this stuff over here but obviously if it's lighting up and I have a picture and I have no sound we're just gonna go right to the sound part of it so uh, so we follow that around I've got this unplugged set your meter on DC that's the straight line with the dash lines if you set it here to that that's alternating current if you're checking the input voltage yeah that's what you want but if you don't put this on DC after it goes to the circuit board you're gonna get erroneous readings or gonna get stuff that's not correct so. alright we can see the LCD screen and if we can see the little plug we're gonna go to ground over here that's our ground terminal and you have two little pins right here and if we have voltage then we're going to say that our circuit board so we got 11 volts there on that one let's try the other one alright we got 11 volts there and we have nothing on the other one because the other one is the negative so see now we don't have anything here guys I'm going across both of those pins so that tells me the output from the board is bad so I just happen to have another circuit board right here I bought this on eBay it was $52 and it looks identical to the one on the right so I'm going to show you how you change out a circuit board on a TV of course this will apply to anything so 
let's uh, what you probably want to do is take a couple pictures it's real uh, sometimes it's if you're not familiar with doing this stuff it um, doesn't make a lot of sense when it goes back together but you can see you've got these little things that have got to come out and you don't want to put this one here or put that one here it might make a big difference okay and I don't think you can because that's four pins and that's three pins but I'm just using that as an example this has got to come out these have to come out right here those come out and you take this cover off and there it looks like there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I see seven screws. So, guys, ultimately, the first thing we want to do is we want to turn the TV off. Those lights went out, heard it click. We want to unplug it. You do not want to work this stuff live, okay? So let's uh, see if I can get the best angle here for y'all. I'll give it a whole picture. Okay. All right. I'm going to make sure we're powered down. And I've already taken pictures. If you don't have a camera, to take pictures with this, you can uh, you can make a little drawing with a pencil. All right. Let's take this cover off over here on this side. All right, now guys, I didn't show taking all this apart right here. What I will show you is the reassembly. Okay, so. Okay, well let's work left to right and let's work in a clockwise manner, okay? Let's work like that. I know I started over here, but that was to take this cover off. So, and you're going to need some uh, good quality screwdrivers. These are, these are Klein, so Pull this off right here. And it just it just pops out. So just set that. You don't want it to get tucked up any under anything and then you don't remember where it goes. So like I said, take lots of pictures. Alright, we'll pull that out. So those two are out, so we're part of the way there. That's just some tape. And let's see if we can pull this guy out. It'll just pull out, okay. That just pulled out. We'll move up here. And these look a little trickier. undo this little screw right here in case we can pick up on it and guys what you want to do is put this screw back where you found it so you don't lose it because I assure you it will get lost so put that in there. All right, let's go back to what we were doing. All right. You want to be very careful pulling on these wires because you don't want to separate the wires out of the socket here.
Well, okay, we're just going to take some needle nose. Mm, these are stiff. Let's get a better pair. And that just pulled out just like that. Give you a better shot of the other one. And guys, what I'm going to do, of course, they're different sizes. You don't have to do that. If they were very close in size, you might want to take a marker and mark on one of them. All right, let's pull this out. And it just pops right out. I'm going to put those over there. These. See if we can pull these out. Well, they put that tape everywhere. And you see that just comes out. And give a little help with your screwdriver on the edge. And I think we've got pretty much everything out of there. I think we can take these screws out and we can uh, remove that board and put that other board in there. So let's uh, let's do that. Very careful with these circuit boards. Set the screws right there. things up where our fingers are too fat to fit in there. one that you forget about and that's that one right there very easy to overlook so if it doesn't come out easy you need to check all your screws and see this thing just is gonna pull right out and guys um, you don't want to get kind of confused around here and end up putting the old one back in so you want to put some type of mark. I just put a B right there for bad, okay? So that way I know I don't get confused and I set this board somewhere and then I go through all the trouble and set it back in there and then I don't have any sound. And then you know I want to you know kick myself. And then I've got to take it all back apart and then put the right one in there. So this one. And be careful how you have it oriented, but uh, there again, you just slide it right in. It's not really that difficult. And there we go. And the new one does not have a B on it. And we'll just check ourselves, and that one is the one that's bad, okay? Sometimes dealing with electronics, they're very difficult to tell, especially if they're identical, which is the good and the bad one. So make sure you mark it. Okay, well we got that like that. Let's um, let's put some of our screws back in. And you want to put them in not not all the way, just very loose. Okay, 
just want to get them started. wants to be uncooperative. Alright, well we'll use one of these screwdrivers right here. Having a real time with this one. Just wants to be stubborn. I'm, I'm making a video right now, okay? Alright, this one uh, wants to be really stubborn here, so I don't know why it wants to be like that. There we go. We got it. All right, we got another one, still being a pain in the butt. Alright, I think we got all the screws back in there. We don't want to over tighten. You want to very lightly tighten these things. Okay, you want them snug, but you don't want to tighten them up so much you break the, uh, the circuit board. Okay, all we need to do is plug everything back in. Can you help me? Yeah. You come over here and hold this light for me, please. You come, uh, I guess you can come right over here. Are you, do you need to wake up first or? No. I to get that hot sweater off. Right, you come right over here. Actually, you can just stand right, right here. Okay. Right, pull that light back a little bit. Okay, I got, I got Mrs. HSP is going to hold the light for us now. Um, Alright guys, what we're going to do is we're going to put everything back 
the we, we started clockwise we're just going to go back the other way so we're going to start with this plug now you see it looks very similar to that one but it won't it won't plug into that one okay as, as a matter of fact let me uh, just get a close up of this so maybe this will be better here okay you got these two plugs here these are actually different sizes so it kind of makes it idiot proof you put that in there you don't want to force it that one just clicked in and you've got these these guys over here and like I said they uh, you can see the different sizes you can see how they're different sizes so just match up the one that goes to the one right, it'll just fit on there you just just push it on it'll it'll snap in there Make sure you don't bend any of those pins. It, it'll it'll line itself up pretty much. See that one's on there, and that one just snapped in. You got this guy over here, and see it just just push on it. There. Okay, and then we have these two little guys here now like I said these are different sizes so you can see the small one he goes right there I don't remember if I got them upside down or what There we go. Just pushes in. Right. And I believe that's everything in there. So let's uh, turn it on. I don't have any cable or anything hooked up. I'm going to have to get an HDMI cable and hook in. I think it hooks in over here somewhere. Yeah. So let me, uh, let me get that ready. And we'll just recheck our connections here. And make sure we didn't leave anything off or we didn't bend anything up. So but anyway, that's how easy it can be, guys. It's not really that hard if you take your time, take notes, and take pictures, and don't try and force anything. All right, let me, uh, let me get um, some other stuff hooked up to it. Okay, guys, Mrs. HSP pointed out something right here. I forgot to hook this back up, and I'm going to get the, the TV working and just put that back together. Just snapped in there. But uh, if the sound comes back on and then I won't have sound to one of the other speakers, I'll go nuts and, you know. <laughs> so anyway, just put everything back together and take your time. All right. This little cover right here, this is kind of self-explanatory because you got all those little color things right there. And this goes on before that. Okay, I didn't remember that. So let's pull this off. Drop one of them screws down there. Pinch any of the wires. Let 
and that just slips on like that and then this apparently goes on top of that You got all kinds of screws in here. All right, guys, uh, we just need to put the cover on. Well, I need to tighten these up. But I'm going to put the cover on, and then we will uh, stand this thing up. And we're going to tighten those up, too. So many screws. It's easy to overlook them. So these screws right here. Let's go ahead and tighten those up. And one thing I almost forgot, guys, is this little guy right here. So there's a little lock ring that goes around that guy. So let's put that on. very lightly. We'll put that on. Alright guys, there's just all kinds of screws that got to go in there. Uh, the uh, SD card filled up, so I don't know where we left off at. But um, anyway, I got the screws in there. Make sure that you put the uh, tape. I, I didn't show that, but there's some stuff that's like right there. It's taped down. You just kind of just put that back on there. And this is, I think, was held down over here somehow and just keep it from flopping around that's all it's for and there's a piece of tape right there let's, let's tape that up anyway something like that alright well let's put the main cover on and then I can stand the TV up and we'll see if it'll uh, if we'll get any sound out of it and if our repair works alright I'm going to get Mrs. HSP to help me pick that thing up and set it on there. Fits good on this side. All right, fit right on there. So let's uh, let's get these screws put in here. And my screwdriver. What are these little screws here? I have no idea. When we cross that bridge and we come to it. All right, let, let me just. Okay guys, I tried to leave the screws in the cover the best I can and you just lift it off instead of having to fumble around with them. But anyway, we just need to put these back and just tighten all those up. 
anyway it's not that difficult and there's a couple other screws here and there that need to go in the back so all right let's get those in got the TV stood up there with Mrs. HSP's help I've got a private video in there I didn't want to put a, uh, a movie or anything like that in there I didn't want to get popped by the YouTube copyright police so uh, let's uh, let's engage it and we'll see if we have any sound okay we don't have any sound oh, here's something half a mile away eight or nine hundred yards I'm guessing and I'm near the top of the mountain well I don't know who that guy was but he sounded familiar but anyway guys you see the sound works so that uh, that circuit board fixed the TV so okay guys well just want to show that to you Okay guys, I want to throw in that uh, fixing this TV was actually pretty simple. Uh, I spent $52.45, I think, delivered. Uh, I might be off a little bit, but it was around $52. Uh, and what it did was that $52 rescued this TV from the dumpster, because that's what would have happened to it. So it's a really easy repair. You can save yourself a lot of cash. I know the price of... Uh, screen a uh, big screen TVs has come down quite a bit this one was purchased in 09 and I think it was around fifteen hundred dollars back then I think you can get something a lot better for probably about a quarter <laughs> of what I paid for this back then but uh, fifty two dollars to repair it still has a good picture on it still got a lot of service life in it so uh, just wanted to throw that in there and I hope you uh, found the video informative and if not informative you found it entertaining and if you enjoyed it like, share, subscribe. Homestead Prepper out.